Welcome to a brief overview of the AMN Healthcare Virtual Management Platform. Our virtual care management platform is a highly configurable, comprehensive communications platform and was designed to mirror a physical clinical workflow. Within the administrator's view for administrators, you can manage all aspects of staff accounts, including password resets and user rights and roles configuration. Within patient records, you can collect detailed demographics and past medical history as well as manage patients' past and future virtual consults. You also have the ability to save documents to a library to be shared with patients during virtual consults. Full custom reports are available for billing and an audit trail of all communication within the platform. Administrators can view patients within the patient queue or a waiting room to be seen by providers, um, either on demand or scheduled appointments. They also have the ability to message patients directly in the waiting room. Within the scheduler view, admins can view globally all provider schedules, as well as create availability and coverage blocks, as well as general blocks on the calendar. To book a new appointment for a scheduled virtual console, click on the new appointment green button. Simply search for your patient, Service types are appointment types, and these are all completely configurable. You can assign a default duration as well as a fee associated to that visit if, if needed. Communication methods can be toggled on and off depending upon how you're gonna be specifically using the platform. And we also have the ability to collect electronic payments for any communication method or visit type. Once the appointment's created, you'll be provided a summary and the appointment will be created for that specific provider. Once an appointment is scheduled for a patient, they will receive an invite with an appointment confirmation. Patients within the application or from a web browser can access the platform. Everything is branded for the appointment confirmation as well as an appointment reminder. This is just a sample email confirmation for the, the specific patient. As patient Jeff Doe here, as you can see, I am currently logged into the mobile application. If I click on my profile, depending upon the configuration setup, I can request a scheduled appointment or request to see a provider now, and those are on-demand virtual consults. Down here at the bottom, I can view any upcoming visits that I have, as well as view any past virtual consults and see those visit summaries. And I can also view any files shared directly with me down here in the bottom right. So to begin the check-in process for the patient, I'm gonna go ahead and start my visit. We provide patients with the ability to check their audio and video connection if they're unsure about their uh, environment that they're in and their data connection. Patients can also leave a callback number if they're disconnected during the virtual consult. And then custom intake forms can be assigned depending upon the visit type. So if you'd like to collect more information before the visit, whether it's a series of yes, no questions, multiple choice, um, from a pick list as well, you can assign that specific intake form depending upon what the patient's being seen. Okay, if there was any electronic payment required for this visit, it would appear before this consent to treat screen where I can put in my credit card information, but since I waived the fee today, we're gonna go ahead and skip that part. And I'm just gonna acknowledge, and as the patient, I am now complete and I'm going to automatically be moved to the waiting room within 10 seconds, or I can manually click that. So from here, I can chat with an administrator if my provider is running late, or an administrator can chat with me as well. From the provider view, I can log in via web browser. 
We also do custom background images and a custom URL and a custom logo here for your patients or your providers to log into the virtual care management platform. Okay, so as the provider, and this is the provider view, so when they first log in, they're gonna see any patients in their waiting room waiting to be seen for them. And we break it down by scheduled appointments versus on-demand appointments. And each provider can be configured differently um, and by geographic location and uh, specialty and what appointments they could see patients for. So the providers really have two views, and this is the first one, the patient queue, which is their waiting room. Then they also have the presenter queue, which they can perform some actions. And this really depends upon that specific provider's user rights. They can see patients on demand as well. So, you know, for instance, if they're on the phone here with Steve and they want to enter into a video visit, they can simply select start and it's going to send out the instructions to Steve directly via email or text message. You can also give providers administrator rights, whether that's adding patients or scheduling appointments as well. And providers also have that traditional calendar view that you saw earlier for administrators, but it would just be for themselves. We also have full provider to provider, clinician to clinician, secure messaging chat, as well as video built in. So I can message any one of my colleagues directly over here. Maybe I'm going to see Jeff Doe before, and I know Judy has seen Jeff previously, um, and I do want to check out some more information about Jeff before I see him. I can have a HIPAA-compliant chat directly on the platform. So before we see Jeff Doe here, I can pull up his custom intake form that he completed on the platform, and I can review this before the visit if I'd like. Well, let's go ahead and start the virtual console. Okay, so directly once I'm in the visit, we'll walk through some of the on-screen controls that you have during, during the virtual consult and then some of the clinical document, documentation tools over here on the right-hand side. Over here on the left, we have full screen markup tools. So if you are showing an MRI image or some sort of screen sharing image, um, you can mark up those images directly on the screen. Also text as well too. So if you want to document anything with the patient while you're viewing them during the virtual consult, you can do that as well as take a snapshot here. So once the screenshot is captured, it's going to save down here below in your, in your images bar, and those will appear on the visit summaries later. But I could also just clear up all these tools directly. As I mentioned, full desktop sharing as well. So if you do need to share an image, and we also allow up to six participants on the virtual console. So you could simply, if you wanna invite a family member or someone else outside of the organization onto the call, you could have a third, a fourth, a fifth, or a sixth person, like I mentioned, but maybe you need to invite a colleague. So I brought up that example of chatting with Julie, who might be the primary care doctor of Jeff Doe here. I might be a specialist. I could come here to my directory. I can invite a provider specifically into the call as well to join. Okay, down here at the bottom right is some more of your in-screen controls, whether you want to eliminate your self view. Um, you can also make the patient full screen, as well as muting the, the microphone and camera if you do need some privacy for a second. Over here on the right-hand side, that intake form that the patient completed will be displayed directly up here. Any past medical history and demographics for that patient. Um, I could view within their profile as well as their preferred pharmacy and provider. And this is all intake information that can be completed beforehand. We do have a simple SOAP note as well built into the platform. Any information that was completed in the intake form will automatically pull into the SOAP note if a primary concern or allergies were pulled in for the objective portion. But the provider can simply capture basic information here. We also have the ability to capture CPT codes as well and ICD-10 codes. And these will appear in the custom billing reports 
um, depending upon how those are run. So, you know, if I did want to capture one here, I can capture a CPT code for this specific visit. Any files as well, too, that are available to this provider globally or this specific provider can be shared with patients. And this is typically patient education um, that's shared during the visit. Since I am a, a demo provider, I do not have the e prescribe button right here, but within, within our virtual care management platform, we have the ability to e prescribe as well. So I'm going to go ahead and, and just end the encounter as the patient, just to show you what it looks like for the provider. The provider will remain within the virtual consult, as you can see up here. The provider can end the call directly. They can complete their notes, send out any prescriptions, send out any files that they need to. They can also leave the visit unresolved. So if they need to run into another meeting, uh, another consult, they can leave the note open, come back to it later. But I'm just going to mark it as complete here. And it's going to drop us out of the consultation directly and back into the patient queue screen. But clinicians and providers can pull up their care history and they can see over a custom date range or the past 30, 60 or 90 days, um, you know, any, any visits that they saw directly and they can also see any upcoming visits. But just to pull up the visit that we completed today, if I want to pull up the visit summary, a custom visit summary is generated after each virtual consult. And this is saved for the patient. A patient can access this within their, within their uh, platform as well. This is available across the entire enterprise. So any, any staff member, any provider, clinician that has access to this can pick this up. But this custom visit summary is generated with the statistics of the call. So the length, the visit type, geolocation of the patient. We capture the SOAP note as well and any CPT codes that were captured if there was any prescription sent. Then that custom intake form will be displayed here as well. And as you can see here, that snapshot that I took during the virtual console pops up here. Okay, and those specific snapshots can be downloaded. This, like I mentioned, is generated electronically every time, but if you do need to download it or print it out specifically, you have that ability. So to conclude, our virtual care management platform is very configurable and really based upon your specific workflows, can be configured for patients to be seen scheduled um, or on demand, depending upon what how you're typically like to see patients, and is really a clinic in a cloud. Thank you for your time today.